This is Ella. She really hurt her knee badly. She fell directly onto her knee very hard. The medical guys were quite confused about what had happened. Um, they couldn't really give her a good explanation. They splintered her leg up and gave her some crutches. They were basically going to wait and see. Uh, they run some tests, but they were planning on doing an arthroscopy or some sort of other investigative test to see what sort of damage had occurred. But um, we got Ella in. She couldn't put any weight on the leg whatsoever. And basically, once we took a film, we found that... Oh, we've assessed her first, you'll see that, but once we took a film, we realised that this whole bottom part of her tibia was rotated underneath this cartilage. And um, you'll get used to me saying that I don't want to go into too much of the technical side of it, but basically, this tibia had rotated quite a long way like that, putting this cartilage under enormous strain. And when we look at the x-ray later, you'll see that um, the normal orientation of the tibia and fibula uh, was altered completely. Okay, so it was really quite badly rotated like that. Even after one adjustment, she'll, you'll see her report that she did much better. And the second time, you'll see her actually walk without the crutches. And initially, she was told that she'd be at least a couple of months um, away from putting weight on her foot. So that just gives you an idea, um, you know, what can be achieved if you, if you know what you're looking for and a very small specific correction in the right spot. All right, well, I hope you enjoy Alice's case too. Take care. When she came in, um, she couldn't get any weight on that leg at all. So what we did was had a look at it. I realized pretty quickly that the knee was no good. We took some x-rays, we took an AP film, and we also took a lateral film. So what happened after the last adjustment, Ella? Um, basically, I just could walk on it, and by the time I got to school, I could basically put weight on it and walk and yeah. Good, and? And remember you said to me, what, how did it feel? Um, I could feel a little tingling going down my feet, but it felt fine, like it was normal. Yeah, well, that felt, you had that almost immediately, didn't you? <laughs> and like your mum correctly said, mum's a my therapist, so she knows what's going on. Um, like your mum told you at the time, uh, that was just things waking up, yep. blood supply getting back down there, nerve supply getting back down there, and you'd be worried about that to start with. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. But so what you were saying is, by the time you got to school, it felt like a normal knee. Yeah, like it felt like this one. Yeah, good. Um, more, right. More importantly, we've had no Panadol, no painkiller oh, since. Yeah. Um, and you've even practiced walking without crutches. And a brace. Brace. Good. And it works. And it yeah. works. So you can still so you can get weight through the leg without the brace or the crutches. Yeah. Alright, awesome. Okay, so this is Alice knee. Um well we showed you in the room. Uh, we had this model in the room before and showed you how there was a lot of rotation in in the tibia and how this uh, cartilage was under a lot of stress. Well this is the actual x-ray. You can see how this meniscus here, the space where the cartilage is, is completely closed down in relation to this side, or in comparison to that side. And you can also see that there's a lot of slippage of the tibia. Um, the outside border of the tibia would normally line up a lot better than that. And the space between the fibula and the tibia also would be a lot greater. Normally, if you took a normal film, straight A to P, this gap would be quite a lot wider. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice is that the actual angle of the, t of the femoral shaft is, um, is quite acute in comparison to what it should be. Now I'm only telling you what it should be, we're not going to go into exactly what this all means. Um, but at the moment, it's suffice to say that's a really bad knee and things aren't looking real good. This was on day one. So that's really good. See how when I do that, mm. I can get that bone to slide underneath the cartilage? We, we couldn't do that the other day. Yeah. So that's really good. We need a bit more correction on it. Come up onto this table here. Okay, Ella. That'll still be quite sore, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay that looks pretty good. Excellent. That's the first one. Remember a few days ago when she laid down, Jen, her whole leg was twisted? It was. Yeah. It looked awful. 
Now what we've got to do is just try and bring this tibia across a little bit. We've got to bring it in this way mm -hmm. underneath the cartilage and if we can fix that. This might be a bit uncomfortable this one Ella, mm -hmm. but it's not a big pulse, it's a little one. Good, excellent. Perfect. I'm going to stand you up, Ella, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to give you a crutch straight away because I think you're going to be able to put more weight on this. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's good. Does that feel stronger than before? Yeah, like before I was walking like this. Yeah. That's good. And just walk back to the machine. That's really good. Yeah, that's great. Alright, Ella. Okay, Ella, come down. Stop. Turn around in circle. Do a dance. You serious? Hi guys, joking about the dance. Walk down here. <laughs> good girl. Perfect. Thanks.